A few good friends of mine since that whole Snow Allegra debacle have been calling me the songstress stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I posted that pic of you and I last night, and you don't have to talk yet because I'm doing an intro. Okay. Posted pic of you and I, here they come. Here they come in my fucking mentions. Oh, look at you stalking all the singers. <laughs> but I just really, really, really love R&B, right? So I am blessed. We are blessed. We are all blessed with a very, 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 very special guest. Someone that I believe to be an artistic, just genius. You know, I say some people are like hot sauce. This young lady. Like you can put this young lady... On just anything, and it works. Mm. And that is what I think part of the problem is. But we're gonna talk about it. All right. We have the amazing Seven Streeter in studio. Actually in studio with us. She is here. I don't know if it's a promo run. She might be going to see 90 other niggas when she leave here. But she's here with us today. And I appreciate that. Oh my God, I gotta let this hook rock. You don't say nothing. You said enough. Oh, harmonies. Wait till I get this in the sound cabin. <laughs> Why is the acoustic guitar so good when you're sad? For, that is the sad. It's, I'm telling you. Look, ain't that about a bitch? She was so sad. Seven has been through so many Did breakups. Go for you? Oh, my work. God. Yeah. Now you want to love me, huh? Ow! Seven. Hey. <laughs> Who the, what, what's that nigga name? First of all. What's his name? He that, don't even matter no more. He was just good for the publishing. That part. See, shit. You and Adele. You <laughs> he don't matter no more. <laughs> yeah, Yo. Damn. Nah, Adele nigga came back for his, right? Did he? Yeah, no. Did he? he did. Yeah, You're because, lying. Because they was married. You got mad buried. You got married. Right? You can't go make, we can't be married. You make an album and it was about the marriage. Now I get paid. I think he got paid. He got hey, look that up. I, I think he did. What? He got, he got paid. He got so mad. you keep she, playing with men. Because she wrote about him, he got paid? Keep playing nah, with men. Son. <laughs> nah, son. Del Holloman. We can write another one. Let's go. Listen. So what was on your mind? With this when, record? This was a different dude. I mean. This nigga was doing shit. But you know what? This is the thing. A lot of times I like to write records. I'll write multiple records about different phases of relationships. So, you know, you first meet somebody, it might be all lovey-dovey, it's all it won't stop-ish, and you love them, and then, you know, you fucking on the ceiling, the sex on the ceiling, because y'all, it's like, it's new, it's fresh, good it's toxic like sex. You know what I mean? It that's toxic good. sex. That's yeah. not toxic. You should have just named it, yo, I'm fucking this toxic that's nigga I like a lot. On the ceiling's not toxic, it's adventurous, it's the, fun. Hey, the boring plain nigga ain't trying to get on the ceiling. That's the um, toxic dude. Well, like, then there's on, a baby, born plain woman for a born plain nigga, but for the ones that like the other, there's somebody hey. for everybody. You feel me? Well, that is true. It's one of those. That is true. Yeah, but every stage, you're writing a different song about every stage. How long have you been writing music, Seven? Uh, I mean, on and off since I was about 18 years old. Mm. So it's um, it's been a beautiful journey. It's like my favorite thing in the world. And growing up, I always... You know, I wanted to be a singer, but I didn't think about the songwriting aspect. A lot of... When you're young, you don't think about that. Till you get older and you realize that, for one, writing pays a lot of bills. Mm -hmm. For two, writing is extremely therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and it's fun to be able to, like, not have to live in my world, but I can write and then send it off to whoever I want to send it off to and see their take on it. Like, I love that. Actually, that was, that was my very Still. next question. Like, when Still. you write something and it's therapeutic, the writing part of it, yeah. and then you now place the song and someone else is delivering whatever you whatever you intended yeah. how does that part feel it feels is like it still therapy just as therapeutic mm -hmm. hearing them deliver it it is because i get to feel like i can get away with even more shit i can say anything and don't have to even come out my mouth but i still get to get that off it's no different than writing it down and when you write things down and you put it away you you're emptying out your subconscious so when i write songs for other people I'm doing the same thing. So it's like, okay, I need that off my chest. Mm. Go get that off my chest for me. And it feels good, especially when they can do it the right way. Is it just as therapeutic for them, you think? Well, yeah, because when I write songs for other people, it's still a conversation. And a lot of times you find like, you find a commonality within the song and they feel like, oh my God, I went through the same shit. So I get my rocks off and they get theirs off too. It works out. Have you yeah. ever written a song for someone that didn't come back, right? That's what I was about. <laughs> yes. Um, it's the, okay. We're not gonna ask names. Yeah, well, yeah. I won't say that it didn't turn out right, but it actually ended up turning out better for both of us. Mm. Me and Jordan Sparks and and Harmony Samuels 
and uh, A-Rod. We wrote The Way for Jordan. And Jordan cut the record originally. Love that record. It, thank you. And it was it was really, I mean, obviously Jordan can sing her ass off. Shout out mm-hmm. Jordan. When, but, it, when it's air. But it went on to go to Ariana Grande, and we all made the executive, including Jordan, that that was the play. You know what I mean? And, no, I agree with that play. You know what I mean? And she sung the hell out of it. You know what I mean? And um, so, you know, sometimes it works out like that. Yeah. I want to play a song, and then I want to ask you about it, but I want you to be honest. All right. Okay. He finna play some shit. I already know what time it is. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't. I don't think More this song ever came out. I mean, wow! I love this song. Uh, this is Amani. Yes. This is Amani singing right now. Shout out to Amani. But shout out to Amani. Let me turn this off. For, to turn it down for a second. He he did this record a few years ago, mm-hmm. and you're on the second verse. It was never released. Mm-mm. I want to know the real reason why. I don't believe uh, he has told me the truth. Well, let me say, I'll be You honest. didn't clear it for him? No, it wasn't a clear. We were trying to shop the record. This that, record wasn't placed? It wasn't placed. Oh, wait, hold on. You I coming in? You coming in? She coming in? Yeah. Hold on, she came in. You heard her? <laughs> oh, he tucked it again. You tore Armani up on this record. No. <laughs> no, when, I, when, when this record came back and I heard all that dance, you got to be careful fucking with people like you. You were so silly. Thank I'm you. I appreciate it. But so, you know what, though? To Imani, he sung it as a reference. He never sung it as himself. Shoot him some bad. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if he shot at it for himself... He it'd, probably would have did. It'd be some other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was a reference, but he but killed that shit. Listen to her, though. Oh, my God. Wait, what's all my... Wait, 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 wait. Who's, yo, who's she talking to? What is wrong? Yo, what do you think about this new trend, right? And I'm saying new, but the R&B songstresses, right? Mm-hmm. Boy, y'all getting vulgar now, and I love it. I love it. It's I do. Fun. You, Ari, the her record. Jasmine... Even her is sultry being a little hot ass. Well, <laughs> her, you little hot ass on a harp. Sexy. <laughs> hot ass on a harp. She on a harp getting sexy. Listen, she do get sexy on them. She's great. She's amazing. Shout like, out to Gabby. Yeah. But what do you think about that? I you, think, you're with it. Well, because I think that, like, it's the thing. You have to realize a, a lot of the people that you mentioned, y'all have been seeing us for a very long time. Um, me, I'll speak for myself. I won't speak for the other ladies, but I'll speak for myself. Um, I've had a deal since I was 15 years old. You've seen me slowly and progressively turn into a woman. You know what I mean? So me in my 30s is not going to be the same as me in my 20s. And even though I was really talking about sex on the ceiling in my 20s too, so it's just one of those things Girl. that I was, <laughs> that part. But I think that it just it just grows your comfortability with your body and your sexuality and and um and your, the skin that you in it grows over time and nobody told me and me and my girlfriends talk about this that your sex drive in your thirties it goes it skyrockets uh, y'all no, nobody for, t- for women y'all you don't have yeah, it for yeah, y'all I'm scared, no I'm scared yeah. of the opposite no? yeah <laughs> get away from me really <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that's why in the twenties y'all yeah, bugs the fuck while and yeah. then in your thirties y'all kind of get away from yeah me. Well, I'm glad you said that you just reminded me I, it's, you can have all of my pink a power horse juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ice keeps giving me the, the Cameron pink power juice I love how you put sex, it on me. sex liquid and he sells it like he works for them. He's like, yo, you got this, shit, this shit is so good. <laughs> yes. Somebody yo, take it, take it. So I just leave this shit sitting because my dick, you know what I mean? <laughs> then this morning, the shit all old and mildewy. I'm shaking it. I'm like, I got to get this back to Ice. So, I, I didn't give you the last one. Well, you can have it. I don't, I don't need them, yo. I don't need them. All right. What is the power? Cameron, uh, Cameron, is, selling Cameron is selling a, a organic sex juice. stimulant yeah. oh. for men. Oh, It's okay. supposed to make you, uh, Zero. you know, oh, okay. get there. Get Hard. All right, well, <laughs> I mean, shit, whoever to each his own if you need, you know. What you're saying about your, uh, I guess, evolution from start to now is why, I'll be honest, don't hit me. I won't. Don't hit me, because women can't hit me. Um, <laughs> okay. Is why maybe earlier on, when it looked like you were trying to figure it out, critics were harsh. I see songs just go through this, right? Mm-hmm. I see it's happened with Tanaj. It's a few people. It should have happened to Gabby. Mm-hmm. It happens. And then you did it. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is I don't because even that's know what for the, you. I don't even know what the, the, the specific it is that you talk about, but I know how I feel and I relate to what you say. Like, I feel more like myself right now than I ever yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, part. That yeah. part. When was your first single? 
How old were you? <sighs> when was my? I should remember stuff like that, right? Yeah. Um, she been around. You were, like, you were like a group. First, I was. Right? Yeah, it was groups first, and then um, my first single was pretty much with Chris. It won't stop. So that was. Mm. I want to say I was about twenty. Two, so three, maybe? Critics are looking at you like shit. a kid. Yeah. It's hard to envision somebody that's 20 years old in a sexy light. Yeah. Right? Well, like we kind of see Chloe Bailey going through a little bit of it now. She gonna where they're having a hard time she gonna accepting. Get it. And people don't want, they that's, won't allow her the space to turn into the woman that she feels comfortable turning. That's that's or that they try to put you in a box yeah. that they want you in. You're, supposed, supposed, to yeah, supposed, to yeah, you're, you're supposed, supposed to be here. Yeah, you're supposed to be here. This is your, yep. So now, once you evolve to your 30s, now it's more accepting of the world that you could be talking about fucking on the ceiling. Yeah. As, as opposed to being 20 fucking on somebody's ceiling. I guess so. For the listen, my it's it's not my job to tell people how to how to, you know, digest me. That's not my job. They're going to do it on their own. I just have to go according to how I feel, how my soul clock feel, how my body feels. And right now today I feel amazing. As a writer though, it's like kind of a cheat code, right? Like Yeah. Your pen is your pen. That will never leave. It don't matter if it's fans, if it's not fans. I know what happens with this pen. So when we get into the writers that are growing into artists and the fans are having a hard time with the transition, you know, a writer might throw out a few records and you've thrown out a few records mm -hmm. and the fans maybe didn't know how to gravitate towards it. But right. it doesn't really matter because you're a writer. Yeah. You ain't losing. <laughs> I got time. I'm a write, 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 write it up. I mean, I'm a writer, but you know what I'm saying. It's different. It's different. Yeah. If you didn't have, if I didn't have one that was effective and impactful in the marketplace, right. the label might have moved on from me, or the publisher were, might have moved you on. You looked from at me. more as artists. I think rappers in general, yeah, right? rappers, 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 they're not thought of as writers yeah, as much. Yeah, but that's, that's such a great cheat code. But what we said, rappers aren't thought yeah. of as rappers. Writers? Yeah, but that's like the most backward shit. I know. You know, be the most is. people right here. Most rappers aren't giving away their shit. That's true. That's true. Right? Like somebody could be able to sing. Singing as a singer, yeah. that's the quote unquote talent. Yeah. Right? To just be able to sing. If you can write, you might not be able to hum a note. Mm. Right? Yeah. You won't be known. This is well, they, they are known. Like, and Brian Michael Cox and them. It's like a, they're known, a, but yeah. I'm just saying, the people look at the talent as singing. Yeah. Like whether Whitney Houston ever wrote a fucking lyric. People right. praise Whitney Houston for the talent. Right. They don't look at the writers as being the more talented people. Right. With rapping, your rapping and the writing is the art. So mm -hmm. I think it's judged, like, they group y'all. And yeah. on top of that, for the most part, with rappers, it, it's a knock if you have a writer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. You can't, you... Because that's the talent piece. Yeah, yeah, you, writing the lyrics are the talent. It pulls you down a notch, no matter how good you're... They, I agree. You know, yeah, you're not supposed, supposed to have a writer agree. if you're a rap. I get it. You're feeling um, when you heard the guilty beat... Nothing on it, just to be. Yeah. All right. So, real story, right? We got a video, like VHS footage. My my family, like, I'm from a small town. We got seven houses of relatives what, on what, one street. What town are you from? Can you tell Kane us? City, Polk County, really small in Florida, oh, right Florida. between Orlando and Tampa. Okay. And, um, you know, my family, you know, growing up, your family's had house parties. You know what I mean? And so we had a house party at my aunt's house. I was legit. But we got this VHS tape of my, of my granddaddy. That's Florida. Yeah, a little legit. Jet. You know, I'm Florida. I'm from Florida. A little jit. And my granddaddy was um, dancing the big payback. The James Brown had his hands above his head and just, hey, hey, hey. Dun, 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 mm, dun, 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 right dun. He was like, you know, that's, that was his shit. And that was my first introduction to that sample. And then, you know, when Total and Puff and them came back with, can't you see? I'm just like, I was like, you know, it was my formative years. And it was like, Oh, this was just fly, and they was dressed and fly, and their mm -hmm. hair was fly, and it's just like I remembered that from my granddad. So when it came around again, it was just like, nah, this sample still got the same magic it had two generations ago, and this generation need to feel that. That mm -hmm. was important. So when I heard it, it was like it was a no brainer for me. And then on top of that. The writing was really well. Because I, I say this all the time. People think, because I'm a writer, I got to write everything. Oh, no. I don't. We, we delegate. We pass that right Come off. on. Like, <laughs> listen here. So, you know, the record, it was sent to me in a batch of like six or seven records. And that was the one I was like, nah, give me that one. Mm -hmm. And yeah. who, who sent the batch? I was Spice. Chris's cousin sent that batch. Shout out Spice. He sent that batch. And I knew I wanted, because of what it was talking about, I wanted to go back and forth with another with the male voice, and then because I remembered the feeling from it with with Total and them, I wanted like a New York feeling type of rapper on the record. So 
Chris and Farrell got at it, and it just it felt exactly like what it was supposed to. Be. I love it. I listen, it's I like to speak about every aspect of life in all my music, and I went. I've gone through different. If you listen to all my projects, there's a space where it's like. I was super duper in love. There are songs where I'm super duper heartbroken. There are songs where I talk about where I'm from on 4th Street. There's a, it's just a range of it. But I think that because I'm a woman and I speak about sexuality, it's something that it maybe stands out a little bit more because you hear it in men music all day. That's all they talk about is ass and titties and, and pussy and fucking all of it. And, and they talk about the heartbreak too. But I think that when a woman speaks about sexuality, it's like, ooh, did she just say that, you know? That's kind of I, been a thing I, for a while, um, yeah. in, in rap, like you said. In society, not yeah. society. It's society. Yeah. It's society. It's society. It's society. You're absolutely right. It's, it's yeah, women are not allowed to be as sexualized mm-hmm. as, yeah. as men. It's coming around, though. It is. But it I is. think that when we have the power over it and we get to control how we feel about it and it's our narrative, I think that that's important. So, you know. That was dope, and I agree. But... But. Come on, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to dig a little deeper here. Come on, bud. I like to analyze lyrics. Okay. A lot. Please. Especially in R and B songs. Okay. I think I have a I think I think I think I know what this song is saying. Oh, I yeah. think in this chorus. It is. It's not something what I think it's saying, yes. women don't really admit to it. Hmm. So I'm trying to get you to what is the, what is what are you saying? <laughs> what, what are you guilty the about? Song, the song says you, you gon' get, get me caught, caught up, love, love drunk, drunk, fucked up, up over you. you. But I don't feel guilty the more that we keep sneaking. So you fuck. Oh, it's not that. She don't play them. Hotel rooms in my chest. Yeah. So why won't they just say they love us toxic niggas? <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Well, because it's a thing. Just because a person I mean, those has, toxic niggas. <laughs> just, just, but just because, and I've had, I've had so many conversations. I've had conversations with girlfriends, conversations with fans, conversations online, conversations by DMs because people DM me about this song. It's been real conversations. Just because sometimes you, you, you may love who you love, but ain't nobody exempt from having a moment where they're like, I don't really want nobody to know about this. I kind of slipped up. I don't know how I got into this situation, but I actually have feelings for this person and it is what it is. It's a real thing. It does happen. So in any case, I'm, I never want to shy away from the truth in music because I think that that's why people relate to the song. So you got it. You can't exclude the people to have experiences that you may not necessarily have or that you may not necessarily like green light or want to admit to. It's still an experience. It's worth being told. Yeah, they should tell it more. Yeah, the stories, all the stories worth being told. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, I'm looking at you, and your skin is amazing. Yours, too. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> what does that mean? What? Yeah, don't do that again. That's to me. Oh okay. Don't do that again. I can't. Just say thank no, you. I, I don't know how to take compliments. Well, I don't know how to take Don't do that. What, no, you should. What, uh, <laughs> what, what are you, what's your regimen? <laughs> for, uh, for skin? Yeah. Um, I will say this. I have a couple of different products I love, and I'm being real. Honest. My friend Dorian has a really dope uh, skin line called Butter Skin. Is he I black? Love, he's black. Okay. He is black. His skin Caroline is amazing. Um, I'm not gonna, I, and I love that it's black because I feel like that's been a difference. Because I didn't always like dive into skincare and stuff like that before, mm. but I like that I have brands now that are geared towards women of color, like. I'm a brown skinned woman. You you did not necessarily be it. You couldn't go on the shelves and just find shit that was for you. Yeah. So that's fire. And then the fact that Rihanna has fuck excuse me, Fenty skin, like that's fire. And it her so I'm I will talk about skincare all day. But the um <laughs> nah, the moisturizers, everything. It's really, really good. The toners are good, everything is good. So black skincare for no, me. No, when I seen you last night at the shit, I was <laughs> Aw, thank you. God damn it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Your album is coming. Yes. Nails a week after you. <laughs> okay. Drunken Words, what? Sober Thoughts. Yes. Sheesh. That's yes. your album? Yeah. That's the name of your album? That's the name of my album. Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts. It's more fucking. Um, well, listen here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little drunken bit of everything. Words, sober is there any acoustic thoughts. guitar Tell me this. When you hear Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts, what do you think? What comes to mind when you hear that? <laughs> I think it's backwards. You gonna tell, tell me about it. Nah, well, you I'll... hear the drunken thoughts with the sober words. It's drunken like, it's thoughts bit, with sober words. It's the words. bullshit. Okay. The shit that you say when you're drunk, you really, really mean. Sometimes. Okay, so say, if right? it's reverse, then, so if it's what, reverse, is it, then... what does it do for you? 
For me? It don't do nothing for me, but I, I get the concept. I'm just saying, I, 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 I more fucking. Well, no, it's for me. I mean, I don't, I don't need the alcohol to get you. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, listen, he might be telling himself a little bit. Don't start your shit. Everybody, everybody. Everybody telling himself? It's okay, more fucking for you, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Nah, but What does it do for you? The stuff that, um, you know, liquor brings out your inhibitions. Or the stuff that you really, really, really think when you're by yourself. That's... So, when... When you're sober, you can hide them. Hmm. Once you're drunk, you can't hide them no more. So right. that's whether you feel that way about a guy or a girl. Mm-hmm. What, you know whether what you mean. feel that way about your boss. Okay. What does her title tell you? We know what this <laughs> means. It don't do no, nothing I for like, me, nigga. I don't drink. And I'll tell the truth when I'm sober. <laughs> well, that's a, <laughs> but that's a good point. And so I say that to say, when I say drunk and worse sober thoughts, I understand that the correlation with that is, you know, the more you drink, you know, you tell the truth. You drink, you spill your guts. But for me... You can be under the influence of a number of things. You can be under the influence of love. You can be under the influence of lust, mm. anger, heartbreak, a million different things. And for me, with that process and this album, it's been the last, since, they, since you heard my last album, the you're, last three you're years. You're a writer, yeah. It's the truth, though. I re- it really is the truth. I've been under the influence of every single emotion that I can name. I lost my favorite uncle to cancer, f- fucking tore Sorry, me apart. Yeah. So I spent the majority of my three years away sleeping on the floor next to his bed like watching sermons with him it was a real thing I dated a little bit went through some heartbreak that was that's definitely in there you know um, it's just a lot of I am definitely not the same woman that I was on my last project as I am now because I've been under the influence of a million different emotions and I will say this I'm a cancer I'm very sensitive I'm very emotional and I don't shy away from that and in the past you know people have made me feel like I should have and through these last three years, I realized, nah, that's my superpower. It's the reason why, you know, I can tap and I can have a whole conversation with anybody in this room and write a song exactly about how you feel. Mm-hmm. And so when I say drunken words, sober thoughts, it's about being under the influence of a multitude of emotions and writing from all those spaces. But more fucking for you, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got a question question yes. for you. Because um, yes. you said you're a cancer, and I, I, I like to ask cancers this. Yeah. Last time you had a good cry. They cry all the time. An hour ago. Yo. <laughs> Ten yeah, minutes come ago. Come on now. Yeah, but as soon as she said cancer, she said cancer. I said, yeah. oh. She got yeah. 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 crying for it's the a, song I was writing for no. someone else. <laughs> <laughs> they get busy. That's so real. No, the last time I had a, a good... Honestly, you're not. You you're right. A couple days ago, and I will say this with this whole. It's a, oh, Jesus, don't cry. Right now. I'm yeah, not gonna cry. Like, oh, my, my bad. Glowing. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no. I I have good cries all the time. I don't I don't believe in in having to unless you like somewhere where you got to be functional and you don't have time to cry. There are moments where I'm a cancer, and it's sometimes I be like, all right, and you ain't got time to cry. Like suck yeah, that shit up together. and get it get it together and get it done. But in the times where I do feel like I need to, yeah, I cry. Like, I don't understand the idea of feeling something that really wants to make you say release something and then you don't. And, do and then you try to move past it and function with the rest of your life. That's backwards to me. And then you wonder why you reach a roadblock and then a roadblock because you emotionally back the fuck up. Mm. Let that shit go. Are you in therapy? I have done have therapy before. Well, you know what my therapy is? And and, and I do want to go to actual ther- therapy. But my therapy is um, I, I wake up every morning. I watch a sermon. My aunt is my pastor. I, I talk to her 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. I write as much down as I can. I meditate outside. I go outside in my backyard. I stretch every morning. Like, I talk to God religiously. That's my therapy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if I need extra therapy on top of that, you better believe I'm going to run to a therapist. Got it. You know? Got it. Got yeah. It. Um, what pressures, if any, mm-hmm. are you feeling this close to release date? Ooh, real talk. The pressures that I feel going into this release date is that I am very aware of the support that I've had up until this point, and that they have fall in love with certain records and a certain idea of who I am and who I was at that time. And like I said, we're people, we're not the same person every day. You are not the same person you were three years ago that you are today. I'm not the same person I was you're, this morning. You're not the same person you were this morning. So with music, it's like, please with this project, 
understand that I am a person like everybody else. I'm transitioning into whoever this version of me is now. Mm -hmm. And so my music is going to reflect that. And if anything, um, the pressures that, that people, you know, that they understand that process and they listen to the music with those sets of ears and know that um, as much as I'm aware of that, I'm still aware of the things that they like. I keep yeah. in mind, I know that they like crazy melodies and nice riffs. And Are you on a label? Like, I'm independent. I'm at E1. I'm at okay. E1. Shout out to E1. They've been very Shout great to, to me. Shout out to Alan. They've been really, really amazing to me. And they've um, allowed me like a great deal of freedom and that's been fun. E1 got guilty rocking like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold up now. Yeah. Yeah. Blew yeah. Away. <laughs> yes, they did. No, I'm proud of them. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them. You, no. want, you want that ability. You want yeah. the ability and we need See, I see Parks asked that. She said, I'm independent. Mm -hmm. We need E1 to do that. We need Gazi to do that. We need all of them so artists can have more choices and yeah, options. Mm -hmm. For sure. Like, if E1 is able to get a record off the ground, for, a lot of times for an unsigned artist or an aspiring artist, that's what we really want to hear. Hey, yeah. can, do you have the tools to get something popping if I give it to you? Right. Because then I'll go work to get it to you. But yeah. if you don't do that, then I'm not incentivized to... So now I would have never thought that because yeah. Guilty is giving me Atlantic, is giving me RCA, mm -hmm. is giving me the push that I come to know from these other places. So that's, that's, that's great. When you talk about pressure, like if you, I'm sure you've been on a major label before, right? Yeah, that and that's a she won already. She already won. But the pressure's no, probably different, want. right? It's very different, uh -huh. but I welcome it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because now the pressure's on you a little bit. You're in control of the pressure. Well, and my learning is at a is at an all time high. Sure. I, I I said this literally yesterday. I was talking to um one of my friends, and I was like, I thank God for both. Like, I love the fact that I was at a major from the time that I was 15. I was mm -hmm. at two. I was at RCA first in a group, mm -hmm. and then I went to Atlantic, and then after Atlantic, you know, now I'm I'm independent. There are so many things I learned from being at those majors I'm sure. that I'm now able to apply to me being independent. Still. And I, I wish I that for that every artist. I want them, I wish they could experience it on both sides because um, it gives you a great deal. Even when, you, and now that I'm independent, I have a great deal of the things that I was able to experience while I had, uh, while I was at a major. Right. So it's like everything. You know the things to search out and ask for yeah. and accomplish on your own that yeah. you didn't know maybe before you were you know yeah if you and, weren't there, and I, I know say. to ask the right questions to even where I am right now and go no I know y'all can get that done because I haven't seen that before don't play mm -hmm. with me mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I mean so it's great I'm learning it's amazing that's what's up yeah it can be education yeah basically no. and there's no better teaching experience come on right. that part so I didn't I didn't look to see what was coming you only gave, you cheated. You only gave us like, what do they call the tracks where they drop them once a week? Until the album? <laughs> you gave us two, right? Yeah. We got two of those. I gave you two. You want more? I can give you I mean, more. three or four would have been. Maybe 10. Yeah. No, no, they're uh, leading up call, to the joint. Call Jaden in here so we can send, give him some music. Yeah, but it's, it's only been two. I've been trying to see what's going on. I didn't see features. I want you to hear the record with me and Jeremiah. It's a special one. Shut up. Yeah, it's called what? It's called Wet Dreams. We did. I was. I'm, I've been. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. Fam. Listen. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. It's called Wet Dreams. It's a beautiful record. Hit me. Um, hit. No, uh, what, what? Business Boy. Y'all okay. know Business no, Boy. Business Boy. Yeah. That nigga Cole. What hey. Is, I wonder what this song's about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she fell asleep. I don't know. I fell a dream. Beach side. Woke up, woke up sweaty. Yeah, woke up sweaty. She had a picture of the window yeah. open. It was raining. You know, that part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so yeah. Jeremiah is there doing Jeremiah things. Yeah. But that, I mean, that boy, shout out to, first of all, thank God for Jeremiah. That part. And his life. That and, part. And we're going to mm. praise God for that. That's one of my closest friends. Mm. And him, his, his family, all of them, his whole camp. But praise God for that. And, um, it was one of them records. We actually cut that record. We started at my studio at my crib, and then it just sounded like he needed to be on it. So we went to his crib. His dad was there. His dad heard the record that day. His dad has since passed, so like rest in peace, Daddy O. We love him. But he heard the record that day too after we cut it. And he he was like, I love how, I love how you got my son sounding on this record because <laughs> Jay, you know Jay gonna sing his face off anyway. But I like this record because. His his false is a little bit more false. His runs is, a, is he he went there and I like that and oh. um, 
It's a good one. We just shot them. I've been editing the video all morning as we speak. Jeremiah Loki bodies every sex song that he's nah, he ever featured on. Nah, every one. He, he gets busy. Every and last songs, one. Honestly. Every, every but song. But we don't know that Wet Dreams is a sex song. <laughs> we don't know that. Yeah, yeah. I think we don't know. I think it's about, you know. Work. Yeah. <laughs> For you know, yeah. like <laughs> having a dream. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Can I just throw out names that yeah. I'd like to hear you with at some Please. point in life? Yeah. Going right to my guy, Lucky Day, of course. Oh, I got a record with Lucky. It's on the project. It's called Phil's. <laughs> it's called what? Yeah, it's called Phil's. Yo, when is this project dropping? <laughs> yeah. I know what. Yo, <laughs> hey, you can fool them. I know what time it is when this record. <laughs> I got to make sure you're right with my phone. <laughs> I got appointments to make. All right, so Lucky Day is there. Thank you. So, oh, you have the download? Yeah. Oh, good. Can is there somebody that can give wet dreams and feels too? I want you to wait. What you can have right it now? at home? Yeah, if you want. Shut up! You yeah. are a lot. Hey, yeah. <laughs> are you kidding? Yeah, because someone hand me a Kleenex. Yeah, could you hand me a Kleenex? What we could do is we could just blend ice. Ice, could you, ice, ice, could you hand me a Kleenex, please? Thank you. Here, take that. Thank you. Plug that little toggle into your thingamajiggy there. To your thingamajig. Why do they call it a dongle? I don't know. You gotta <laughs> ask him. He works like, Apple. Why do they do that to us? A dongle. I hate Yo, that. Hey, hey, dongle. Can you hear me the dongle? Who that. wants to say that? Nobody. You just call it the thingy thing. Uh, thank you so much, Shannon. Bert, this already sound like, oh my. Can we turn it up some? It's produced by Business Boy, written by me and Drew and Jeremiah. Yo, I'm about to call somebody. <laughs> this is Pink Horse Power right here. <laughs> Yo, Ice, I changed my mind. You, you can't get your pink, the pink this is it. You can't get your This is the pink You can't get your pink pills back. Yeah. Jay snapped on his verse, though. He went crazy. Not gonna lie. Snap. Can we hear a little Snap. bit of the other one, too? The oh, Phils, can you ask him? Just Phils, please. Wet dreams and Phils. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you know, the thing, the thing that I was dope. I was saying, how like every, right. I like to write about different periods and spaces in my, within my relationships. And so it's like, wet dreams is a space. Like, tell me about it. You know, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a space where you're like, it's like right in the heart of like, you know you fuck with this person. You know they fuck with you. It's like, okay, what are you doing? Whatever you're doing, drop what you're doing. Like, I love when girls I need get to, to see that you place. now. I want to see you now. And <sighs> it, but it's hard for them. It's right hard. when you can control it's hard them. To right? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, I'm not even saying no. Let me hear what she's saying, you man. Asshole, but yo. I feel she you. She turned to me. I feel you. Oh, okay, well, let me hear from you. <laughs> no, when a girl yeah. just loses all like too cool for school, like, yo, what you doing? Well, Girl, because we I, never, I need you, but we don't want, we don't necessarily want to even, we don't want to have to pull out the too cool for school. You know what I mean? We, we, we will let that go when we feel comfortable enough. That's Making us feel comfortable is everything. everything, and there are a million different ways. Like, are you calling us consistently? You know what I mean? No. And con consistently <laughs> according to our schedules. I understand sometimes people's schedules are crazy. I get that. I get that. I live for that. But I'm just saying the things that make that particular woman feel comfortable. If you want a space in that woman's space, then make her feel comfortable. I'm glad that you said that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to toss this out there. Uh, and without giving us too much in yeah. in your in your dating experience, yeah. what have you found easier dating someone that understands the plight of what Oof, you go through? That's a great question. Or someone that has no idea about any of it. Um. Ooh, it's like it's there are pros and cons to both. Uh, it's two sides to both. If I say what I prefer right now, I prefer somebody who understands my schedule, because people will think that. I understand that sometimes a missed call or a call not returned, it, it's not a ref, it's not a reflection of how I feel about you. It just just so happens that I'm working. You know Yo, what I mean? When she, we need that as a drop. What she just said for the next episode, <laughs> so I could just keep playing that. I agree. You know what I mean? And sometimes just, working don't look like working, and that. And sometimes working don't look like working. Yeah. You gonna see me at a party turned up, not knowing my feet hurt. I've been working all day. I'm uh, ready to go the fuck home. Right. Mm -hmm. But. If I'm there for work, I'm there for it's work. Still like, just I'm know that. Enjoy it as much yeah. as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Or I might be laying on the couch no, looking at my phone. Work. And I'm still working. Yeah. Not answering texts, but I'm working. You mean no. to tell me that there are men that would apply this type of pressure to your text inbox? Um, Not men. I won't. I won't. I'll. I'll say this. It. It'll show itself in different ways. It'll show itself in patience. You know what I mean? Like, you know, where you look up and it's like, okay, if it's, and I understand it. I'm not, I don't even knock it. I mean, it's probably why I'm single right now, but I'm very comfortable with that. But it'll, it'll show itself in patience. Like, let's say if there is 
a week or two where I just got a crazy two weeks and I literally don't even have time for my own self. Mm. I, it's hard for me to make time for someone else. And like I and you guys tell me if, if there's a certain level and sometimes there's a certain level of attention that as a man, you I'm sure you probably need. So I get I that. I gotta hear your voice within a week. Well, I gotta hear your voice. Yeah, you'll hear a voice. It could be, it could be yeah. something short. Talk, yeah. to, talk, talk to me. Talk to you, well, that's the thing. And so I'm learning now to deal with men who understand that. You know what I mean? Who understand that, like, if I, if you know my schedule is crazy, but I'm making, I'm in a car heading from one place to another, and I'm hitting you like, hey, babe, how was your day? You gotta honor that. Time. You know what I mean? Yeah. How's More your day? Honor. You gotta yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, because yeah. 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 it means that, means that means just as much yeah. as me spending a whole day. Spending if I, a whole if I day had with you. Do, and I was just sitting at home talking yeah. to you all day because mm. I wasn't busy. My half an hour phone call in the middle of this meeting and this meeting. Come on. I mean a lot. Means a lot. Um. Do you have any kids? No. So then why I'm confused then. Why? So then why do you need a babysitter? Why do I need a babysitter? I don't know. Who said I need a babysitter? <laughs> you know what? First of all, you know what? I walked right into it. How did the writer fall for the line? Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yo, I'm sitting here watching it. Oh, that was so cool. I do kind of want one too now. I'm so corny. Damn. Come on, let's take a babysitter break. God, nah, listen here. This is a good break. Drunken words, sober thoughts. Here we go. I want all seven fans to know she did take a sip. I did take a sip. It's Just a little baby sip. A little, she, a little doing, baby she sip. She's doing the tricks that uh, the bartenders do with me. They're like, can you mind us a drink? And, but they put their titties in my face. I'm like, <laughs> sure. I'm like, sure. <laughs> then they go drink some water. You, I mean, this is a, this is a real thing. Yeah, no. You know, they take, they take drinks and they pour them over their shoulders. They, they don't let you know. And then you don't see them and you think they survive. And then you don't be in Well, that's why yep. now, and I look like a total nut doing it. I know, let me preface this. <laughs> I say sure, and then they pour the drink, and mm-hmm. I put my nasty nostrils right to that cup. <laughs> I gotta oh smell it. my god! I gotta god. smell it. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta smell it. You've done that. I'm. I do it. What do you mean? Done you it. smell their drinks to make sure they drink it. I hope not. They scamming too much. Yeah, they are. They're they're scamming. Got, they they got scamming the water too much. That's true. They got the water. The they want to get you really, sure. really this, like you know. I know how. I know how this bar works. I know that there's a quota to meet. I know they're gonna count all the money from each one of these bars and add it up. And if you ain't getting where you're supposed to be at, so your job, if ain't no action happening, spot out a sucker and say, Hey, <laughs> you wanna buy me and my <laughs> friends it, yeah. some drinks? Um, and I say no. You're, you're a bartender. You're, <laughs> Sometimes it's trippers do. I'm like, you didn't even say hello. <laughs> but go ahead. Fuck it. Are you up? Uh, I would love to go to a strip club with you. Like, Can I be honest? Yeah. I would love. Of course I could be honest. Just being honest. Yes. Um, <laughs> you in a strip club because you just appear to be the most innocent R&B person in the world. You do. Is that you, right? Have you heard that before? You do. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not. Listen, you tell me. I don't know what I look like from the outside. I just know what I look like to you me. So look you look like. Me. Her like really the the you know not nah, I disagree you don't well that's I'm, why I'm not getting that at thoughts. all I like the duality so you I'm think that and then you think girl wow crazy I gotta go get you out of school principal got my number on speed dial that's what I'm getting can I ask hmm. you a question I'm not getting can I ask you all. a question of course how does the amazing writer write then hmm. how does the amazing writer write you gotta live you gotta live something yep. I know. I know. So that's I what I'm asking you. If she's homegirl, I was looking out my window. No, I no, my he didn't say that. I'm saying this is the homegirl from back in the day. my nigga yeah. homegirl. Yeah, yeah, you right, missed we're, that. We're talking over Oh, no, I love this very much. I'm, what, my, I'm, oh, yes. that type that of home, kind of home not in the house. No, I'm talking about this my homie. Like this. Ish, you OG. We not fooled by that, though, right? Of course she Yeah, she does give that, but we not. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting I'm getting strip club go crazy. Okay. Yeah. Throw it. Uh, yes, that's let what it I'm fly. Here's my, my last question shot. to you. Let it fly. <laughs> last question to you, and then I'm talking to Seven. Okay. Ice and I have experienced this. Yes. Do you? Seven. We walk in the strip club with Seven. We give Seven a stack mm-hmm. from the rip as soon as we walk in. Twenty oh, minutes. Fast. Okay, you got it. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm, not, there we go. I'm not even saying that long. Yeah, it's ten, minutes. Ten, no, minutes. I'm, ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm giving twenty. I'm ten minutes. Nah, I, I see a scope and a spot. I, I see something they I like. What? Twenty ish. minutes is gone. And she sees something she likes. And she sees something she likes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Ten minutes. She don't know what we're saying. I'm talking. They saying that we're gonna get. How long is us song? 
Three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> Come on. They're saying, I'm they're, done. They're saying that you're going to... We go to strip clubs mm-hmm. with like our homegirls, like our platonic homegirls, mm-hmm. and we try to have a good time, but they fall in love so fast, like they don't really respect the scam of the strip club. Hmm. So you give them money and they throw it in five minutes. Hmm. First girl to come up, hey, they just get rid of it. So hmm. I was asking them if they think, how long they think you hold it. Can no, hold find, on to she it. She finds something nice. Do y'all, she, do she, y'all had a, y'all got y'all, you know, predictions, nigga? You want me to go? Y'all got them all together. We got well, I already gave I'm you. Said, okay, you ready? I said, I said 20. I got you. Is going 20. 10 minutes. It's 10? all going less than 10 minutes. This is with the uh, uh, notion that she found something she likes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. She, she sees so something there she that she a, likes. She, she seemed a little picky. Like, nah. I'll add a caveat. Not her. If, if her, her homegirl is there with the cornrows, it'll take an hour. Mm. That seems like the homegirl that keeps her. That's the buffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Dave's yeah. gonna keep me together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She will. Um, listen here. <laughs> so I'm a believer in like you she know, too, the hustle, you know, that, that, you won't, you got you got work for yours. You know what I mean? So it's like. You go to a strip club, I want to see the theatrics. I want to see you go crazy. Because the same way you working for yours, I had to work for the stack that I'm throwing. Mm. So if I throw, if I'm throwing it, I'm gonna take my time. And so like, even if she's fine, yeah, but there's no publishing in stripping. But fine ain't enough. She's saying you gotta <laughs> work. That's what I want. No, you gotta work. You gotta I'm gonna take my she's time. She's fine. I'm, fine. She can be fine, but it's gonna go. It's gonna go to the one that's going the craziest. Okay. Like you know what I mean? She up on the pole doing tricks and all this. I other. like. I'm, I'm for for one. I have a great deal of respect for for strippers. As I do mean, I. it's I not. Think we all are. Listen yeah, here, yeah. my first of all, this upper body strength is not what what it is. Stripper pole, it's kind of crazy. So I have a great deal of respect for him. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna get a stack to the one that go the craziest. Mm. You're not about to be la- what? I'm not about to tip no lazy. Nah, it's no time for so that. So you're keeping your money in New York strip clubs. That, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Well, in, in new, well, she's from. I understand. Well, it depends on which one. Well, y'all tell me about it. Depends it. on which one. When y'all you go to the fancier it. ones, they so fly that they kind of spoil. Hmm. It's not even sure. about fancy you know ones. What I'm it's about yeah. it's about the ones that more popular. Yes. Where the rich guys going, the industry dudes is going, the dope boys is going. They don't got to work as hard if you're hmm. pretty. Well, I haven't been to a strip club in New York in a very, very, very long time. What does Seventh Street do for fun? Oh, it might not be fun to everybody else, but it's fun to me. Like what I like to do for fun. Um, true story. I'll get in my car. I'll drive down. To, I live thirty minutes from Malibu. I'm gonna drive down to PCH. Take my blanket, take my speaker, take my weed, take my my wine, take my book, take my whatever I need, and I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna chill and I'm gonna chill by myself, and that's fun. To I me. definitely can see laying in the grass. You know what I mean? Vibes. That's no. I like yeah, to be. Yeah. I like to when I that I like to chill by myself. Outside of that, if I'm, it's not that I like to be home with my family. Like I love being with my cousins. I love cutting the fuck up when I go home to Haines City. Like we drink moonshine on Sundays. Like it's just fun. Like you, I'm, Yo, it's, it's the, the truth. With the fruit in it. Yo, with, the, with the fruit in it, it's fun. I like to be with people that I actually enjoy being around. Pardon my yeah. vulgarity for two seconds. All good. I'm gonna pan to the camera. <laughs> Boy is tough trying to fuck the girl. It's always with her family, right? Nah. It's tough trying. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to get away from Uncle Harry, cousin in hell. <laughs> Your nah. cousins ain't got like nah, a cousin, cousin kickball. <laughs> nah, you gotta just learn how to get down with the family. Nah, you just gotta go uh, there. But yeah. I gotta, no, I gotta, not a, no, 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 you're not just gonna go there. Let's get that, no, let's get that together. You're not just gonna, you're not just gonna go there. I didn't mean to imply that. I said you gotta learn how to get down with the family. And that means a lot of things. Nah, just cause I get down with my family don't mean I'm gonna let you get down with my family. I'm very picky about who I- New Orleans girls. This is- New Orleans girls, they guard their family Once Uncle Harry like you though, you in. I mean, once certain family members like you, it's over. It's like, okay, you- you in there it's good but you know nah I keep my family to myself and then I will say like I live in LA I'm, I'm there by myself a little bit by myself my girlfriends come over and that's we had a time of our lives we gonna sit there we gonna talk we gonna shoot the shit we gonna turn the music sky high dance around the whole house like have drink we just it's I like good like just good female energy good vibes and so you know I don't know I just like I like more more Kick back More at the shit. crib than going out, though. Yeah, but then I, I do think. go out, and you know, people think that that's 
the majority of my fun. No, nah, that's a lot of my job. You know what I mean? It's a huge part of my job. So, And I like to make fun of anything that I have to do. I don't like for things to feel like it's a chore work, or work, work or yeah. labor. So I'm not going to be at the club. No, nah, I'm, I'm going to have fun everywhere I go. You but because know? of that, honestly, do you even have time for a relationship outside of the one you have with music? I mean, apparently I haven't had time up until now. You know what I mean? I've been single for a little minute. And we'll see if it if it changes. Well, 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 slow down. I'm not gonna let you sneak that by me. What? Hey, what's a little minute? No, no, that, that, <laughs> that part is cool. But she said, yeah. because I've been busy with work, I really haven't. I've been single <laughs> for a little while. Now that could be. Yeah. Also, though, it could mean. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> no. Say it, it. If you, it could. <laughs> Say it. About you. No, no, no. no. Uh-uh, oh, I see the seven corner. It. It's oh, okay. Oh, I see the seven corner. They're about the fine. Attack. They are no, fine. I like that girl. <laughs> I, wanna, <laughs> I ain't trying to be myself in front of her. <laughs> no, you can be yourself. You can be yourself. For real? You can be yourself. Okay. Be and she was. For real? Be yourself. <laughs> oh, it's the first time. It's okay. It's okay. Jada not going to kill you. You made me feel so warm. It's All okay. right. <laughs> or if you've been single for a little while, yeah. niggas might be like, Talk about it. She might be nuts. They may think that. Are but you nuts? There's only one way to find out. Oh, she's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, Please. no, nuts. No, I'm not nuts. I just, you know, I like to take my time. I like to get to know people. I'm not, um, I'm not very, I'm not going to be like this when I first meet you. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a real thing. Like I have very real relationships in my life. My girlfriend, my family, so I'm not gonna let that. She's betting niggas out. She you know what I mean? I'm not gonna let that happen when it comes to niggas. She out there asking our nah. middle names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you got a strong family unit, though, I need to know. Like, and too, it's like I take pride in all of my all of my relationships, all of my friendships. So the same thing is gonna apply to Can't my see, niggas. Cancers be having slick mouths until you say something slick back, and then they cry. <laughs> well, they do. yeah, that's real. Cancers who maybe you know are Unevolved. not in the line of work that I'm in may. Made, I can get that because they let the emotions overtake them but I'm not in the space where that it can't happen like that for me pro. Yeah, yeah that's what I got listen yeah. I saw her work I saw her work the room at fashion week <laughs> she worked the room but like not purposely trying to work the room mm. and I had a real good time in there I just by like the way. people all the people that I spoke to said oh my they like was trying to compliment me but they was dissing me what you mean <laughs> I was hurt. I can't keep going to those events. <laughs> like, I seen all my gay homies, all my transgender homies, but then, like, everybody else was, like, a little confused. They didn't know. Nah. Like, the- they said I look too mean to be there. They kept saying, like, you're the last person I expected <laughs> to be here. And then they would say stuff, like, oh, you're taller than I thought. And then they would say stuff, like, I was just getting dissed all night. No. At this fucking pretty little thing. I, was, I went in there feeling like a pretty little thing. <laughs> and I left. Just my confidence was a little, you know, it was shattered a little bit. <laughs> no. Because, <laughs> you know, the gay niggas don't play. First of all, they was in there dressed to the... It was yeah, like... Fam. Well, first and foremost, let's your, just say... Your man Ricky amazing. that they gave the uh, podcast to? Ricky, 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 yeah. wait a minute, baby. I don't know what that was. He's killed. He killed. I was like, damn, Ricky, you ain't got to do it like that. He didn't even look at me. He was like, thanks, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Which Ricky are you talking about? Ricky. I, I don't even know. Ricky? We just know him as Ricky. Oh, Dark skin. Oh, he had on blue last night. Rick. Oh, man. That, he was so clean. No, I know. Yes, shout out. No, 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 I know. No, 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 no. Hi, Ricky. I was checking him out. No, we actually, we saw, Rick, we saw Ricky later on that night. And he looked amazing. Oh, he didn't ruin it by being pissy drunk he later? Looked, he looked fabulous. Damn. That made me feel better when I went to bed. I'm like, he probably looked like shit now. What? Are we talking about the same like Ricky? Damn. 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 Can't even no hate off. We might not be talking about the same Ricky. No, we are. We are? No, he was killing. He, he looked amazing. He killed. Killed, killed, mm-hmm. killed. But everybody the did. The event was fire, though. I don't know. Why didn't you? Not, they kept asking you why you was there. I think you you fit in right fine to me. I don't understand. I don't expect to see Joe at none of this shit. They that, think it was never first Joe. First of all, no, public no, no, no. Honestly, is that thank you. Of thank you. They, somebody that's mean. They don't yeah, know they the think exactly. I'm an Nah, I thought, all I saw was a black man there supporting a beautiful woman, Tiana Taylor, with a beautiful new clothing line, a beautiful mm-hmm. vibe, and it was a beautiful night. That's all Let me clap was. it up for Tiana too. Yeah, like that event was fire. Like it felt very much so her. Like she had the dancers come out in the beginning. The clothes was fire, and we was all there to celebrate. It was Music good. Music was good. That wasn't kid to wisdom. Music was good. Let me just say that, Tiana. That's what I said when the dancers came out in front of the train looking thingamajig like Kid to Wiz did on the Ellen Show in New York. We just used to seeing Kid to Wiz and the homies do all that dancing shit. But I like those kids. 
But I did want to see Kid DeWiz. But there's room for all the dancers. Listen, I yeah. thought that shit was fire. Seven, we're not going to get another long hiatus from you after <laughs> this. Part. Honest, I'm not, this is not funny because we yeah. love you. I love you too. And it's been a lot of years where I'm like. I know. She right, man. She getting the real money. I no. know. <laughs> She's lifing. Thank you. I was lifing. Both. That's all. It was It was a real lifing type of thing and I can't promise that I won't life again like if I don't life then I don't live and, and I get that money you She's know right. so I got I got a She's life right. I got a life and I think that honestly on some on some real shit if anybody learned anything I think that us having to we had to take off a year and do nothing but pretty live. much life live with yourself with that you know and live with yourself we were talking about this off camera a few minutes ago like you know, it, it's, I understand that our, our pandemic and our time off was, it was tough, but I think that a large bit of that was necessary. And it's because we don't, we didn't, before that, we didn't get to life a lot. Like, it was like, work, 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 no work, 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 move around, move around, do, 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 do. And it's like, nah, everybody no. sit down for a year. And now they can't get us back to work. No, not in the way that we, but not in the way that we were. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, but when we say that, we all sound like rich capitalists. No, I think it's anti-capitalist, if anything, but... That's a different story. I also just enjoyed how much it brought me closer to the people that I'm kind of close with, but maybe yeah. don't spend enough time with, like doing yeah. Zoom calls and FaceTimes and all that shit. Like, mm-hmm. you really kind of found out who really fucks with you. Come on, that part. That part. So yeah. there's no more hiatus. <laughs> we got Jeremiah. Yes. We got Lucky Day. Yeah. Oh, no, it might be a hiatus. I don't want to lie to the people. <laughs> yeah. if, if she, it might if, be a, <laughs> If life happens. Hey, if life happens. And let me tell you what that means in R&B. I'm like R&B whisperer. Uh-huh. If she, well, meet, if, hey, if she meet that dude, if she meet a nigga, it's a wrap. <laughs> Yo, not nigga. get egg. She just guilty. Y'all not getting innocent. <laughs> y'all, y'all not getting the, the jury still out. Listen here, that's not true. You just get a different. It'll be a different take on what I'm going through. That's and all. you might hear from someone else. Or that part. Listen to Which is the fly <laughs> thing about being a songwriter or whatever. You don't always have to be the artist. But that no, must be nice. Yeah, that's when nice. the pressure's off you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't got to do the interviews. You're you don't getting do the, the bag. The you're getting the bag. Fuck the bag. The, the bag writers get me. the bag. So now I don't got to put out no album. You got to go lay up. <laughs> Y'all keep talking about the bag and you take away from the art- artistry. First of all, I'm all right? a <laughs> that's, that's number one. You got artistry. Because I hear you. You're right. You're so right. You're right. It's there. But it's but, funny how you say it, but it's true. No, but, but I don't want to be joking. It's true. What I said when I introduced you about about you being yeah. so talented that sometimes it's hard to figure it out mm-hmm. and you perfectly explained it well, I'm growing up and y'all just gotta wait mm-hmm. until I finish yeah. thank you that's what we that's what we see and it's tough yeah. so we make these jokes but for you to be where you are and I asked you about pressure let me just I'm, pro- I'm projecting now for you not yeah. you okay. but you have this amazing record that everybody loves when I get the aux this comes on people that never heard it they go crazy everybody thank goes you. crazy but I'm a musician, so when I hear it, I hear heartbeat, I hear your beautiful voice, I hear Chris Brown. It's not your first or second Chris Brown feature. Right. Chris comes with a certain pressure. This beat, this sample, it, it comes from greatness, it comes with a certain pressure. I'm just glad that where you are today in your artistry, in your journey, in your process, you feel none of it. And probably because you felt it all already. Yeah. yeah. That was good. And that's the, and I, and, that's the, and that's the part... That I love for you, just artists. When you see them, you could tell. You could you could feel that. You could Thank feel you. it. I I could tell the people who were artisting last night, hmm. and the people that was just them. Hmm. Big difference. Big difference. I Listen, I don't want to hold you hostage, even though I would look at your team. <laughs> Wait, the sensitivity class. You can't. Do, you can't even do that, right? You can't look at the team. You can't, you can't tell them. You got to say it when they leave. <laughs> Listen, Seven's album, in your phone, in stores. Drunken words, sober thoughts. I'm buying that bad boy. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And doing some more shit to it, too. <laughs> As you should. Seven, tonight, if you are not busy, you will get a strip club invite. Let's go. You don't have to take it, she but I will out. have done my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, 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 <laughs> can, can, can she or y'all? Can she come out? I mean, mm, can she come out? <laughs> <laughs> Seven told me I could be myself. You can be yourself. <laughs> be yourself. All y'all be yourself. Listen, we want to thank the amazing Seven for stopping by here. Thank you. I can't wait for the album to drop. Hopefully we see you again. Hopefully we hear from you again not in three years. Not in three years, no. What's and the I'll, date on the album? September 7th. 
17th. You know, got to go on my 7th. Yes, September 17th. I'm very excited. Yeah, if you wouldn't have did it with a 7 in there, I would have said, oh, she bullshitting. You know what I mean? They might have ain't got a 7 in there. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Did you, is this a stylist that did this? I mean, it's a combination of my stylist and and I'm just obsessed with a certain aesthetic and, you know, we talk it out and send things back and forth all day, so. We love 7, man. You got to go get out of here. I love y'all too. 7, thank you for stopping by. (laughs) Hey, Chris, don't you try to do that. You're the only one that come on. Like, Chris be trying to body the girls. He do. He do. But he don't play with you. Well, that's because he he, right he, he, t- he taught me a lot of what I know vocally. You know what I mean? That's really? it. Yeah, real talk. You know, obviously. I, I, I did not know that. Yeah, he taught me a lot of what I know vocally. Um, You know, I grew up singing in church. That was a whole thing. And obviously, I have my own skill set and my own, you know, my own personality when it comes to my singing but there were like plenty of days in the studio where I would struggle with my vibrato because it was really fast Mm -hmm. and he would go no seven sing it slow like this and I would sing it slow like that and it would sound better or it's little little different things I never I, I will always give credit where credit is due and he taught me a lot about how to use my voice so um you know and I was singing behind him and underneath him and a lot of his you know, previous records. So mm-hmm. it's one of those things we we know musically how our voices are supposed to sound when they're going against each other. And because of that, I will not ask your biased opinion of who would win the verses between Chris Brown and Usher. We'll skip that one. But listen, I still, I still got one. I got two for you and I'm letting you out the door. Oh, you an Y'all asshole. Can okay, what? I got two for you and you're out the door. What? I've recently seen news oh, no. that Devontae swing of Jodeci mm-hmm. has resurfaced. He has popped back out. He has appeared with the group. That's what the headlines are saying. Fuck the headlines. Let me tell you what Joe says. <laughs> Jodeci can't duck the smoke because they Jodeci. Jodeci has to face the blonde haired boy. Mm-hmm. They do. If they if there's three Jodeci members, then y'all have to face Drew Hill. Ooh. And let me be the first one to say, I don't know if that's a win. I toss it to Seven Streeter, Ooh. songwriter, songstress, amazing. What do you say? You an asshole for that. But let me tell you something. My, you know my, who my first concert ever in life was? It was Drew Hill. It was my first concert ever in life. It was at Watermania in Orlando, Florida, and it was Drew Hill because I was what I was in. Lo- I'm obsessed she was with. I'm trying obs- to go to Watermania. What as you- a child. It's a water park. <laughs> Shut up. I just say I'm just telling the audience. It's a water Damn. park. It was. Go, she got to- listen. <laughs> Wet and Wild Watermania. If you listen, if you from the Central Florida area, you know about Wet and Wild and Watermania. That was our spot, and they had fire ass concerts. And my first concert was Drew Hill I wore some cute little band two knocks but that was you know sidebar but um so you think okay okay um she tried to get the whole back yeah, 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 yeah. I am yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I love I grew up them with both that. I love I love them both I'm like come on now like because one of my favorite songs in, in, in life in life well okay you just gonna make me pick in this one of your favorite now. places to go is Wet Willies I know Shut up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wait a while. Um, now I will say, Joe C and, and Drew Hill. That's that will be first of all amazing. All right, she don't want to answer. Drew Hill, I'm obs- I'm obsessed with Drew Hill. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go with Drew Hill in terms of there are certain reasons why. I, there, it's it's just personal reasons why. Last one, and I'm finished. <laughs> I've yeah. asked this around, yeah. and I've said to people, I've been trying to figure out a proper opponent for Trey Songs. I feel hmm. like I feel like his catalog is really really long, it's insane. but where he dropped, he can't do the Tyrese's and the Brian McKnight's and the Joes. But where he dropped, I don't want Usher to do. That's not fair. Who's appropriate for him? I came up with one name. I, I came up with one name. Okay, one name. I'm gonna okay. tell it to you, and I'm gonna tell you what people said to me. I said Trey Songs might have to stand in front of Omarion. And people said to me, Joe, no. you've lost your fucking mind. No. Trey Songs will absolutely wash Amarion. Oh, I don't know about that. I, I don't know do about that. not well, agree with that. I toss it to the amazing 
Seven Streeter. Well, and hopefully I, she didn't perform with any of these guys write songs for any well, of these guys. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I, I have. I actually I've been on Trey's projects, oh. and I and I was in a camp with Amario right, when you, I was young. You too so, accomplished. But I will say, <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though. It depends. Can, can Amario yes, include? Yes, he can play B2K. Records. Okay, yes. he can yep. play B2K. Even still, with that. Trey, it's 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 about the amount of years and about a, the amount of music they put out. And Trey's, I feel like put, he's put out way more music on top of him putting out way more music, bro. Like his music, it just kind of it it, right. it 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 just it lives in too many different places. You I see. think for a lot of us with with Omari's music, it especially with B two K, it was a certain time frame. Mm. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's a factor. So it's a lot of different things to factor in. I, I don't think that that would be a fair one. I don't. I think that we got to find the right one for Trey. You know what I mean? I and, and, and honestly, find I the right one Trey for Amari too. Yeah. You said what? I, I think can't. Trey cracks that nigga's mouth. Yeah, it's like he's it's, it's know, not man. it's not. I don't. Not, I don't the B2K I, I, stuff too. Yeah, nah. it's a different demo. I don't think it's gonna resonate the same. I it's know. a way different demo yeah. for that. Okay. Yeah, a good well, one. one zip. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one nothing. Amari on. That's a vibe. It is a vibe. Fuck him. I don't. I don't care. So you saying Trey can't beat this? No. So no. You out your fucking. You bugging now? It's a point. It's a point. It I'm mm-hmm. done. I'm done. Listen. I'm back. To, I'm back. To, I'm back. Listen. listen. It, would have, good, it would be a good. It would be a good one. Amari gonna have some. He has some shit. But when that he has to stand in front of that Ready album <laughs> and that number five, I bet that he gets six, seven, eight name. joints off of Ready. <laughs> I mean, easy. Sure. Yeah. Ready, Joe? I'm raising my hand. Uh, you, you Mr. Joe. Button. Look, this is all I'm saying. Does Trey Songs have the catalog to beat Amarion? Yes. I'm sure he does. In this particular battle, much like Fab and Jada, much like Rizza Prime, much like uh, Dipset Locks, I think Amarion is a technician. I think he will be better prepared. I think he will be sober. I think he will have a better lineup of his 20 songs. I think he will counter better. And I think he could could sneak a win. Could. Could. That's my man. Maybe I'm biased. I'm playing seven. Seven. (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate you. Same. I hope you are still working with your whole team, this same team. Next time. Yes, <laughs> I will oh, be. Good, good. Yes. Round of applause <laughs> for the amazing, the wonderful, yes. the beautiful, talented Seven Street album in store September 17th. Wait a minute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now, officially a friend of the show, feel free to stop by whenever you want. I will. I'm going to come bust your ass in this Monopoly. That part. You don't want that. You don't that want part. that. That part. You don't want that. <laughs> you got a hard out. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go ahead. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's funny.